Okay, this is another review problem for the midterm exam. This problem involves calculating the pressure difference using liquid levels in a complex manometer. As you may know, all the videos for this course and downloadable PDFs are available at my website. This is a manometer problem taken from an old midterm exam. As you can see, the manometer has three fluids. There's water and this inclined leg at 38 degrees from the horizontal, oil with a specific gravity of 0.87, and in this vertical section here, we have air. The problem asks for the manometer shown in the sketch, derive an expression for the pressure difference PA minus PB in terms of the column dimensions H and L, the inclination angle theta, and the fluid specific weights, gamma of oil and gamma of water. And for part B, you're asked to calculate the pressure difference PA minus PB in kilopascals, of course, using the values given in the problem. For the first part of this problem, I'm going to start my analysis at point B. Of course, you could start at point A if you wanted to, but starting at point B, I want to move upwards in this water layer to point one. Note that the change in depth of the water is the vertical component of L. So the change in height is L sine theta. So the pressure at one is lower than the pressure at B by the specific weight of water times L sine theta. So this is equal to P1. So now we have P1 on the right side, we can move across and set that equal to P1 at the water-oil interface. The pressure at these two locations are equal because you're at the same depth in the same fluid. To convince yourself of this, just think about moving up to, say, this point here. The pressure would decrease because you're moving into a shallower water, but when you came back down, the pressure would increase by the same amount. So the pressure at this point is equal to the pressure at this point. Now we have the pressure at 1. We can move downwards in the oil to find the pressure at point 2. Now we're moving downwards, so we're moving into regions of higher pressure. And the pressure at point 2 will equal the pressure at point 1 plus the specific weight of oil times the change in height of the oil, which in this case is 44 centimeters. Now we've got the pressure at 2. Now we can do the same trick again. We can move across. We're at the same depth in the same fluid here. We can move across and find the pressure on the left-hand side at the air-oil interface. Now we've got the pressure at 2 on the left-hand side. So now we can move up from point 2 to point A, and the pressure would decrease by the gamma of air times the change in height of the air. But you'll notice in this problem you're not given the change in height in the air. That's because we traditionally neglect this term. The specific weight of a gas is two orders of magnitude lower than the specific weight of a liquid. So traditionally we neglect the change in pressure in the air layer and just set the pressure at 2 equal to the pressure at A. Now we can solve this expression for PA minus PB. So rearranging, we get PA minus PB is the specific weight of oil times the height H and the specific weight of water times L sine theta. And that's the solution to part A. So now we can move on to part B. In part B, we actually have to calculate the pressure difference PA minus PB in kilopascals using the values given in the problem. And you're given the, the height H and the length L is 35 centimeters. But first we have to calculate the specific weights of the oil and water. The specific weight of oil is the specific gravity times the density of water technically at 4 degrees C, though it only makes a slight difference, times G. So 0.87 times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. That's the density of water at 4 degrees C. And then G, 9.81 meters per second squared, which gives the specific weight of oil as 8,530 newtons per cubic meter. For water, I've taken the density of water at 
room temperature at 20 degrees C. So 998 uh, kilograms per cubic meter times 9.81 meters per second squared gives the standard 9,790 newtons per cubic meter. Now we can make the substitutions into this expression. So PA minus PB is the gamma of oil, 8,530 times the height, 44 centimeters, minus the gamma of water times L sine theta, which is 0 0.8. 35 meters times the sine of 38 degrees, which gives a pressure difference of 1,644 pascals. But the question asks for the pressure difference in kilopascals, so that's 1.64 kPa. And that's the answer to part B. And that completes this presentation.